Article 37. Article 37, I will entertain a motion to waive reading of Article 37 in its entirety due to its length. Moved by Mr. Griffin, seconded by Mr. Bridal. All those in favor? Down cards? Opposed? All right. So I'll entertain a motion to open discussion on Article 37. Moved by Mr. Griffin, seconded by Ms. Barnes. Um, who would like to speak to Article 37? Ms. Renault? Right now, 37 Toll Farm Road. Um, you, the voters, <laughs> established the town forest in 2015 by um, a substantial margin in the vote. Uh, it's for the use of all the residents for passive recreation, and we have people using it for walking, bird walking, bicycling, snowshoeing, cross country skiing. Um, and enjoying it. However, since 2015, uh, we've identified some some issues, either through our cleanups, Boy Scouts cleanups, our summer intern, who's a, a forester who's walked the property, uh, and residents who have called us. And uh, from those issues, we decided it was necessary to have some common sense rules uh, for the the use of the forest so that it would be respected and kept relatively clean and and um, keep our residents relatively safe as they use it. So that was the purpose of these um, rules. We researched um, those these types of rules in other towns in New Hampshire. Uh, we consulted with legal counsel. Uh, so we did quite a bit of work to, to make sure that we had rules that, that made sense and worked for us uh, in the best way possible. And we asked for your support for for this Warren article. Thank you, Ms. Renault. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Martin Puglia. I'm at 11 Dustin Ave in Hampton. Um, I definitely understand the need that there's some problems at White Lane and the town forest as regard to shooting. But the bylaws as written as specifically prohibited uses deed are in violation of state law. And I think it's been discussed. And for some reason, there's some discrepancy as to how that law reads and is written. Um, I would rather see the town take an investigative look at providing some kind of alternative that would discourage shooting in the town forest, but you definitely can't prohibit it. Thank you. Ms. Wolsey? This is an outstanding article, and our Conservation Commission and Conservation Coordinator have done an excellent job. We are too heavily populated now to have weapons going off behind people's houses in heavily uh, settled areas. People have a right to the quiet enjoyment of their property. The other thing that concerns me is that we have some nice young people on mountain bikes who ride through this town forest area. And they call the police if they see anything off offline. It's like an extra little uh, um, group in town that's looking out for the best welfare of the town. All you need is one stray shot to hit a neighbor or a neighbor's dogs. I know a lady up there who's afraid to walk her dog or kill one of the people or the, little, the uh, nice young people who ride their mountain bikes through the area. We need to buy up the rest of the land, the rest of the privately owned land back there in the town forest, and have that all come under the jurisdiction of the Conservation Commission. And by the way, it's, there's a factor of littering here, too. People going in there shooting off their weapons. We have no idea whether they're licensed. I have no problem with hunters licensed hunters, but it doesn't take two hours worth of shooting to take down a deer. So absolutely, I agree with the state's hunting laws. But in this day and age, with the heavy population and the heavily built up area, I live on Little River, right around the corner. There is no excuse for unregistered, unsupervised firearms shooting there, two hours at a time, day and night. Enough. This is an excellent article, and I am very much 100% in support. Thank you, Ms. Wolsey. Um, 
I've got to just see if there's anybody else who wants to be heard before I go back to a... Well, that's great. But uh, do you folks want to be heard or... or? Yeah, I want to offer an amendment. He's going to offer an amendment. You're going to offer an amendment? Okay. In Article 37, I propose we strike prohibited use D. All right, so we have, um, that would be in Section Roman 5, prohibited uses. Yes, uh, delete uh, Section D, which says currently target shooting or any other discharge of a firearm other than what is permitted in Section 4. Correct, and I, I fear this would open the town up to litigation. Okay, so uh, Mr. Pouliot's made a motion to amend. Is there a second? We need a second um, in order to move this forward. Is there anybody who wants to second Mr. Pouliot's um, I'll motion? Second for Ms. Barnes, uh, second. Mr. Pouliot, you've made a comment. Don't want to open up the town to litigation. Do you have any further comment on the amendment before I go out to anybody else? Yeah. Okay. Mr. Dean? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Um, before we proposed these bylaws, as Barbara Renault said, we, we looked far and wide into what other towns are doing as far as, specifically as far as shooting is concerned, uh, both in regard to hunting and in, in regard to target shooting. And we found some towns that we're, were prohibiting shooting on certain municipal properties. We found some towns that are regulating uh, target shooting on their municipal properties and we determined that regulating target shooting rather than prohibiting it would put an unfair burden on our police department. Um, there are other towns in the state that as I said are, are successfully prohibiting different types of shooting on municipal, proper, municipal properties. We have consulted with town council. He is in agreement that we are on firm ground in going ahead with this article as written. I don't think that um, we are putting the town at undue risk by prohibiting target shooting uh, in the town forest. And in fact, I think we are keeping our townspeople um, out of harm's way by prohibiting this in the town forest. So I would encourage you to not support this amendment. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Diener. Anyone else wishing to be heard on the Pouliot Amendment? Yeah, just let me see if anybody else wants to be heard, and I'll get right back to you. Anyone? Yes, sir. Come on down. The, the one additional thing I'd like to note is that the town doesn't actually own all the land that's considered inside the town forest. Okay. All right. Mr. Fancher? Go ahead. Hello, Brian Provencial. Um, Section D. Uh, prohibits target shooting or any other discharge of firearm other than what's permitted in section uh, the other one. Um, that would say that you're not allowed to hunt there because you have to discharge a firearm to hunt. That would be, I understand what the target, maybe it just needs to be reworded for target, right. to prohibit target processing, but. I think it's still, uh, it says, uh, other than what is permitted in section 4B, 4B is hunting in accordance with New Hampshire laws, rules, and regulations. So as I understand the uh, proposed uh, article, hunting in accordance with New Hampshire laws, rules, and regulations would continue okay. to be allowed. All right. So ready okay. to stand corrected. And, and also, um, I would point out that there is a severability clause, Article 8, uh, which says if any provision of these bylaws is held to be invalid or unconstitutional by a court, uh, such holding um, won't invalidate the remainder of the article. Um, mindful Mr. Pouliot doesn't want any litigation at all and seeks to um, strike uh, what he has put in his amendment. So, um, but if it were to remain and were to be found illegal, the rest of the provisions would remain in force. But uh, the point we're at right now is we need a vote on the Pouliot amendment. The Pouliot amendment seeks to delete article, uh, subpart D um, target shooting, so presumably that activity would continue to be allowable uh, if the Pouliot Amendment passes. So if you're in favor of uh, that type of activity, um, you would uh, vote 
yes on the Pouliot Amendment. If you want to uh, have target shooting um, and other discharge of firearms other than in hunting situations uh, permitted, um, you would vote no. Is everyone clear on that? So a yes vote will be a vote in favor of deleting Article D. All those in favor of the Pouliot Amendment, raise your voter card. Down cards. All those opposed? I declare that the Pouliot Amendment has failed. So we're back to the article as it was originally printed. Do we have the need for any further discussion on Article 37? Mr. Jones. Thank you. I assume that Article D says you can't do target shooting, but you can shoot for self-defense. I don't see that in here at all. You can hunt, but you can't defend yourself, I guess. I have a problem with the access hours as well. It says in, in their access hours, which is Roman numeral three. The town forest shall be open daily, one hour before sunrise and one hour after sunset. But hunters are excluded from this. So apparently they have 24 hour access, hunters do, right? These access hours shall not apply to hunting by hunters. So they are not restricted by these hours. So non-hunters are restricted and hunters are not. Am I, am I misreading that? No, I think, I think section three limits general access to the town forest from the times that you stated, yeah. uh, but they are not imposing those uh, restrictions to validly license New Hampshire hunters during applicable hunting seasons, and those hunting seasons may come with time restrictions on when hunting can be undertaken. Right, so we're basically we're creating two classes of people with regard to access hours, which I think is not necessarily a desirable thing. And I'll also note that under Roman 6, Section C, it allows for overnight camping. If uh, granted by the Town Forestry Committee, who is the Town Forestry Committee? How are they formed? Who's on it and so forth? Does anyone on the board or the town manager have any information on whether there is currently a town forestry committee? Yes. Ms. Renault, would you allow Ms. Renault yield. to yield? yield? Come on up, Barbara, if you could, to the microphone so that people can hear the, uh, what do you have for a response to Mr. Jones' um, questions about the town forestry committee? The, um, in 2015, when the Warren article was passed, creating the town forest, it created a town forest committee that is made up of the members of the Conservation Commission plus the tree warden, who is now Chris Jacobs, our director of public works. So that's the um, that's who, committee. That's yeah. the committee. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right, Mr. So, Jones. So what we got now is a third class of accessibility which is those who are overnight camping with permission of the Conservation Commission and the tree warden. Do I have that right? I think you do. Thank you. I don't think I'm real clear on some of this stuff. I think some of this is you know, making me decide maybe I don't want to do this. I'm not really sure, but I came in when I first read, I'm like, this sounds okay. But I looked at it a second time and I'm thinking, there's points of confusion in here that's going to cause me to rethink my, uh, my personal vote on this. I'm not sure what that's going to result in, but that's my thoughts. All right. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Uh, Mr. Bridal. Yes, Russ Bridal, 225 Toll Farm Road. I don't believe there's any hunting law. I've done a hunting over the years. I don't think there's any hunting law that allows you to hunt before sunrise or after sunset. So I, I think that, that falls right into that. And as far as the camping, I can only see that used except maybe if the scouts wanted to have a, a camp out in there or something else. So I think that's... It's good to be able to have that exception in there. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bryan. Yes, sir. Ms. Puglia. Um, fish and game law does allow coyote hunting at night. 
And I also don't understand how the town can restrict, um, put restrictive hours when they don't own all the land within the town forest. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Seeing none, Article 37 will uh, move to the ballot as printed.